Okay, welcome to the lecture number 52. Uh, so, we are going to start with the gyrostate rotational dynamics. Okay. So, now let us consider that uh, we have this main body which we have written as B and then we have the reaction will here. Center of mass is located, let us say, somewhere here. This is your center of mass of the wheel. And as earlier, we have E1, E2, and E3. These are the body axis. This is point O. From here to here, this is B vector, which is nothing but R center of mass of the wheel. Okay. Now, let us assume that at the point O, a moment is acting which is m external. Okay. Then addition, in addition we will have the force acting on this system. So, let us uh, show the force acting on the system by f external. So, somewhere if external force is acting on this system. And here there is a wheel. So, on this wheel there is no external force, but the force on this can arise from the motor. Okay, let us say that there is a motor attached to this or in general case the motor uh, can be also uh, in general if you look on a gyroscope. So, you will see that if this is the rotor axis of the gyroscope, okay, electrical gyroscope. So, on one of the axis there will be a motor. Okay. So, this motor will be rotating this rotor. So, similarly, suppose there is a motor here and this motor obviously, this needs to be attached to this main body okay. and this will be, there is a rotor axis is, axle is attached to this. So, as this rotates, so there will be a torque applied on this. So, on the, on this wheel, we will have a torque applied which will be in some arbitrary direction. Let us show this in some arbitrary direction. So, uh, we will show it by a vector m w v means this is the torque on the wheel torque on the wheel due to the body. Okay. So, because of this, so from Newton's third law an equal and opposite reaction will also act on the main body. So, on the body also if we remove this wheel from this place. Okay. So, uh, let us show it like this. Okay. This is the body and this wheel is emptied from this place. Okay. So, here in this place you will have a torque acting which will be just opposite of this and this will be m w b with a minus sign and torque is often shown by if you are showing it by a vector, so it can be shown like this also. Okay. Here I have shown this like a m external, I could have equally directed a vector like the m external here in this point. So, let f w b be the force acting on the wheel. So, similarly we have there will be a force acting on the wheel. So, so because the wheel is in contact with the body. So, a net force will act on this wheel which we can write as F w b. And as a result in the opposite direction we can show F w b with a minus sign this will be the force acting on the 
main body. Okay, so finally, what we are going to get, we are going to derive this equation f external if f external is the force acting on the main body in inside which your wheels are also accommodated. So, this will be given by d p total, where p total is the linear momentum which we have already derived by d t and the other equation m external will be given by d h by d t and this is about point O, because we are writing the whole thing about this point O. So, this is about point O, but with respect to the inertial frame, this E stands for inertial frame. plus velocity of the point O cross P total. In the case, the center of mass coincides, O coincides with the center of mass, then this term will drop out. Okay. So, this will become 0. So, this becomes 0 if the center of mass of the system coincides with point O. Okay, and then we recover the normal equation which is given here. So, equation of equation of translational motion for the main body we can write this as p v dot this will be equal to f external the external force acting on the system and uh, minus f w b. this is the part here, this is acting on the body f w b with a minus sign. So, the total force and one force here say if, uh, we have shown here in this place f external is acting here. So, at this point this is your e 3 direction, e 1 direction, e 2 direction. So, somewhere along this direction your if external force is acting, so we need to show that. So, if external and this force is this here, it is a shown like minus f w b. So, this we have to write. So, this is the beauty of the vector notation that we do not have to worry later on we can change all the directions uh, along the body axis. And similarly, the equation for the will then we can write as p dot will this will be whatever the forces acting on the wheel. So, this is nothing but f w b okay. and if we add both of them. So, this implies p dot b plus p dot w this equal to f external. That means, f external this equal to d by d t p v plus p w
p total. Now, rotational motion equation. What are the torque acting on the main body? So, this is m external minus m w b okay this part okay minus m w b is acting here m w b is acting on the wheel so with minus sign it is acting on the main body okay and then also a force due to this reaction okay this is the term the if the force you are applying on the the main body is applying a force f w b on the wheel then opposite an opposite one will be applied on the main body also so this is the distance from this point to this point this is the radius vector which we have written like this. So, we need to take the cross product of this force along with this vector to get the torque. So, this term will have then R C m will cross minus F w b this we need to add ok. So, this is the total torque acting on the system. And as a result of this what will happen the so, we are we have what in cons as a consequence what we are doing we have made one free body diagram. So, this is the free body diagram of the main body and this is the free body diagram of the free body diagram of the wheel. So, if you proceed like this you your system can in fact your system can become quite complex. Okay. So, if your system is very complex, so in that case how you are going to model it. Okay. So, taking uh, approaching the problem, I, if I have started only with a very simple model and done this, then it would have been very difficult to do this. But now here we will see that how the system evolves okay. without understanding the real physics behind the system we could have solved the problem ok, but then we would have missed the physics involved which is very which will be very useful if you do a more complex system. So, if you take the space station, so many spacecraft will come to that and dock some will move here and there some will rotate so something can be done ok. The space station itself it will rotate Okay, that basic platform. So, uh, modeling that kind of system and on that say inside the satellite or on the space uh, space uh, this uh, on the international space station itself say the control moment gyro is there. So, that gyro uh, you can uh, move to rotate the whole platform your own system is there ok. So, this way the system becomes very complex moreover the flexibility in the system is there it is not that the system dynamics it changes a lot if the system is flexible we are working with a rigid model. So, this is our elementary course 
Okay. So, if the system is flexible, then the equation will be much more complex and the and whatever the result you have got for the rigid system, it may not be valid at all for the flexible system. So, for that we need to take into account and work out from the scratch the whole thing. Okay. So, here in this case, the, this is the free body, uh, using the free body diagram, we are writing the equation of motion for the, this is the equation of rotational motion for the, for main body. So, if B is the angular velocity of the body, so d h b by d t okay, and this is s b is the angular momentum, s b is the angular momentum not angular velocity, angular momentum of the main body, this is excluding the wheel okay. and this we have to take the derivative with respect to the inertial frame. So, all the torque acting on the system and on the right hand side then the rate of change of the angular momentum and together with this. So, we will have the extra term V 0 cross the corresponding center of mass of the main body. So, this equation already we have derived. So, in the past we have worked out uh, this equation okay, where this extra term appears. So, we are using that information here in this place. Okay. So, if you remember that once we were working with the rigid body dynamics, so there was an extra term and in the case the center of mass of this body it coincides with the O coincides with the center of mass of the body. So, this term will simply drop out. Okay, so, therefore, this can be written as the right hand side can be written as d h b by d t with respect to the frame E and V 0 cross what this P 0 term is, P 0 is nothing but m the mass of the main body. So, we can write here outside itself main body mass times velocity of the center of mass will be given by r center of mass of the main body. V 0 cross V 0 this will drop out. So, this term will drop out and writing here m b omega cross R C m b. So, you can see that if R C m b here, if this turns out to be 0, so this whole term will drop out. Means, if the point O coincides with the center of mass, okay. so in that case this term will not be present. So, this is your equation for the main body okay. and this we have got by drawing the free body diagram for the main body. So, this is our equation number 1. Now, we write the equation of motion for the wheel. So, for the wheel we have the external torque acting on the wheel is only due to the main body which we have written like this. So, therefore, this will be d h w by d t and remember this is with respect to the inertial frame, but this is about its own axis or the this is about the point we have written the point as this point we have not named here. 
this point we have not named this point here we have written as p so we'll con continue with the notation p this is about the because we have separated out the system remember we are considering now the free body diagram and this is the point p p is located here okay a vector is here in this direction on this then a torque is applied okay and this torque we are showing like mwb okay so under the action of this torque we are writing this equation and there is a difference if i write like if i write here h w o so that means this is the angular momentum of the wheel about the point o okay while this is the angular momentum of the wheel but this is about the point p itself okay so if, uh, we could also write it like this wp by dt and this is with respect differentiation is with respect to the inertial frame so this is the second equation so now add these two equations so if we add so we can see that the common terms this term which is with minus sign and this is plus sign they will cancel out okay and this term we can take it on the right hand side okay so if we do this manipulation so we get the equation here as m external adding equation 1 and 2 adding equations 1 and 2 we get m external minus rcm w rcm w cross f w b and on the right hand side then we will have these two terms and plus this term so d h b by d t and this is about point o okay remember this we are writing about point o so we can put a notation here as o this we are doing about point o so this is with respect to e and then we have v0 cross mb times rcm b uh so the here we have mb times omega cross rcm b mb times omega cross rcm b and plus the extra term for the wheel which is about point p okay but the differentiation is with respect to e okay. this we can take it on the right hand side so m external this becomes dt this with respect to e plus and plus this term rcm will cross fw will and because we have made the free body diagram of the system means on this will the force fwb this is acting 
Okay, so, f w b we can directly write this as d by d t okay, p w, where p w is the linear momentum of this wheel, okay. this is the wheel, this is the a direction for this. It was inclined on the right hand side in the previous figure, uh, just any way, it does not matter, uh, we just we are carrying the concept here. So, plus R C M of the wheel cross this is P W dot and P W dot we can insert here in this place reorganize the whole thing. So, we need, need to reorganize the whole thing. So, I will not carry this d by d t term, we will simply write it like this and h w about p, this is about p and all of them are with respect to the e frame. So, we can carry a notation here may be e uh, or we can drop it out altogether this e considering that this this is with respect to the e frame means with respect to the inertial frame that will simplify little bit our uh, working we do not have to carry so many subscript and superscripts. So, this term we need to expand and write here in this place. So, uh, what we do instead of writing one more step, let me make it compact here in this place and write it this way. We take this term, remove this dot and put it here in this format, but there will be a if we differentiate this we can see that R C M cross P W dot will be produced and one more term will be there, which term is not in this place. Okay. So, for that we will compensate here. Okay. So, this term we have taken into account, this term we have taken into account and together with this then we have taken a term from this place and written like this. Okay. So, from this place we need to write the corresponding term here R C M W dot cross P W, okay. because if we differentiate we will get a term like this with plus sign. Okay. So, that term will get cancelled by this term okay. and we will recover this term here. So, this term has been written using these two terms this and this okay. and then of course, we have to write the other terms which is plus V 0 cross M B times omega cross R C M B. Okay, now, uh, 
we reorganize the whole thing. Then the m external, this we can write as, let us write this term here, this d by d t is there. So, we are going to write this as d by d t, this is h b about point O plus h will about point P and plus this part R C M W R C M W which is nothing but B we have used the notation and times P W. And the other terms then we write V 0 times this term So, of course, if you see here this term the this was V 0 plus omega cross R C M B we can write like this. Okay. So, this is the second term we can write as V 0 cross V 0 plus omega cross omega cross R C M B Okay, this particular term we can write as this is R dot C M. This is with respect to the inertial frame. Okay, remember while we are differentiating, so this differentiation was with respect to the inertial frame, and therefore this can be written as omega cross inertial frame. So uh, taking this differentiation, so your R C M W is the location of the center of mass of the wheel, this is R C M W. Here, this is the body axis E 1, E 2 and E 3 which is fixed in the main body, somewhere this is the center of mass of the wheel and this vector we are writing as R C M W. So, the rate of change of this vector it will depend on the angular velocity of the main body, okay, which is rotating at omega. So, this becomes omega cross R C M W okay, and cross P W. Okay. And this is with a minus sign here. Okay. So, this particular part we have written here only this part. this is continuing from this place. So, this is with minus sign here. So, this particular part here we are working. Now, we can look here that this term it can be written as V 0 cross P center of mass of the main body. Okay. So, for this we need to work out here. Okay. So, we reorganize it in this step. So, m external then this will become. Now, you can also you can recognize this term that this term is nothing but moment of angular momentum of the wheel about the point O. This is the moment angular momentum of the wheel about the point P okay. and this part this is the center of mass located at a distance R C M W 
and this is the linear momentum. So, multiplied by this, this, this radius vector once this is getting multiplied. So, we get the angular momentum term. So, this gives you the angular momentum of the wheel that means simply what we are doing that we have the point O here and the wheel center of mass is here in this place. So, angular momentum about its this point itself and plus the this R C M vector and cross the linear momentum of this point. So, linear momentum of this point let us say we have written this as P w. Okay. So, R cross this quantity P w. So, that gives you the H w O. So, if we add this, so this part we can write as M external this equal to d h by d t and this is differentiation with respect to point uh, with respect to the E frame and just these two things we have to combine to get a single term. Okay, so, uh, anyway this term drops out and this can be written in this way also and in other way also we can write. Okay. So, now we combine the terms here. So, this is minus omega cross R C M will cross P w and plus V 0 cross anyway this V 0 term it drops out once you break this cross product. So, it does not matter. and somewhere the mass term we have dropped out the equation while writing the equation of motion this m b was there. So, m b we have written here this is ok and in this part in external m b is here present this is fine m b is here this term we have taken. Just I am checking that I have uh, not dropped the other terms. So, M b is here. So, this is H b 0 H w p d by d t taken outside v 0 plus M b. Okay, so, we can write here m b term this was dropped out. So, we need to include this term here this is m b and mass is involved here in this place for the wheel. So, uh, this term is ok. Okay, therefore, R C M will cross now this will become linear momentum of the wheel this we can write as V 0 plus omega cross center this is the center of mass of the wheel. So, omega cross R C M and this multiplied by m will. So, this gives you linear momentum of the will. So, here the whole mass is concentrated. So, R C m cross P w this P w will be nothing but the velocity of this point. Okay. So, the velocity of this point will depend on omega cross R C m will and to that you have to add the velocity of this point O. So, we have to add here V O. 
So, this is what we have done and multiplied by this and then of course, this term is there m b v 0 cross v 0 plus omega cross r c m b. Now, we can add up the terms. Okay. So, if we combine the terms, so we will get a particular solution. this is omega cross r c m will. This part we have written, this part we have written here in this place. So, p w, so omega cross r c m will, okay. this part is ok. So, if we combine, so d h by d t e and taking this part here, So, this if we break this part, this particular one, so we can write this as uh, this particular term we are taking and multiplying with this. So, I will change the order. So, this becomes V 0 cross omega cross R C m will and this term and this term they will cancel out because cross product of this is omega r c m w this is omega r c m w. So, both of them are the same term. So, cross product of the same vector this will get vanished and therefore, we get here m w and this term is here m b plus v 0 cross Okay. So, you see that just a flip of things has simplified the whole thing. So, in the next step we wind up this. So, m external then gets reduced reduces this equation to d h by d t and then combine these terms. So, you can see that m w is here, m b is here, v 0 is here, v 0 is here. Okay, so, V 0 we can take it outside. So, we put V 0 outside and cross then omega cross m w times r c m w. So, we are writing this omega cross m w times r c m w plus now take this term. So, V 0 cross already we have taken outside the bracket. So, this term remains. So, here we get m b and this is V 0. So, next step we get here m b times m b V 0 and plus the other term which is V 0 is taken outside. So, omega cross m b times r c m b. So, omega times m b times r c m b. these two terms we can take together m body times r c m body plus m w times r c m w Okay, uh, this term is a spurious term uh, which we have added. So, uh, this will get deleted here. 
let us write this as v 0 cross omega cross and this term is nothing but your total mass times RCM for the whole system. So, uh, adding this term has not made any difference to the our equation, but it uh, gives us some benefit also. Okay. So, here perhaps uh, I have missed out one term it seems. Mb times Mw times V0. Okay. What we will do? Say if I write here. like this. Okay. Does it make any difference to the system? Because if you see that V 0 cross V 0, this will cancel out. Okay. So, adding this it does not make any difference. So, I can write this as V 0 cross this term can be combined together and can be written as m times V 0 and plus omega cross m times R C m. So, this is d s by d t plus v 0 cross m we can take it outside and this is the velocity of the center of mass of the whole system. So, this becomes m times v 0 plus omega cross r c m. So, this is d s by d t plus V 0 cross P total. This is H total and this is P total. So, what we have got M external this is what we wanted to prove d h by d t this is total with respect to the E frame that is the inertial frame and V cross P total. Okay. So, this gives us the equation of motion rotational dynamics equation basically rotational dynamics equation. Okay, and, uh, and this equation is of immense importance in the case we do not require this. So, th this just gets dropped out as we have seen that here this term this is V 0 cross. So, uh, in this final equation where we have written this is V 0 cross if you are center of mass is coinciding with the point O. Okay, so, R C m will be equal to 0. Okay. This is R center of mass. So, R C m will be equal to 0 and this term then drops out V 0 cross V 0 then will be 0. Okay. And we will recover the basic equation which you have used during your whole Bitteka studies and also you have done the same thing in the basic physics during your 11 12th. So, this is the difference that it makes and it becomes important when you are you are not choosing your reference point as the center of mass of the system. So, at your level you may not require it, but you should know that there is some extra there is one extra term which is appearing in this equation if the center of mass it is not coinciding with the reference point. Okay. And the same equation can be written also in somewhat a different way. So, we will look into that equation some other day. So, for today we wind up uh, this lecture here. Okay, thank you very much.